Yo, yo, what up, dog? It's your boy, Street Coder Nate, and welcome back to the channel, Street Coders. I know it's been a while since we've been here, but I just want to say thank you for being patient. I just moved to Michigan. I'm excited to be here. Got my daughter. She just got born. And I'm going to change around my YouTube from how it used to be. See, I, I, I was teaching y'all how to code the old school way. I still, I thought I was making it more modern and whatnot, but it's still a little old school. So what I want to do is actually teach you how I really program, how I see the future of programming. And so that's going to change gears a lot. And so one of those big things that we're going to change gears to is that we're going to start using an iPad. We'll use the iPad to start programming. So that's what this first episode is about. Just getting into the, the grind of everything and figuring out what applications are we going to use to help us program on the iPad. So let's get into it. Okay, so the app that we're going to use on this channel to do all of our coding on the iPad so far, our Python coding, is called Pythonista. So let's go to the App Store. And I'll go App Store on the um, iPad. I use the keyboard and all the keyboard shortcuts. And you just type in Python East, uh, and be Python East 3. Uh, <clears throat> you see this right here. Python, Python East. Grab that. And now that we got that, Python, Python East. Uh, it should cost $9.99. Look, I ain't into buying apps, but sometimes you got to buy an app. This app is worth by especially if you want to do programming on your iPad, I say grab it $9.99 and they got no little hidden features inside $9.99, you got everything, it's worth it, grab it. Um, so once you get it, open it up, or actually I like to take, uh, before I buy any app, honestly, what I like to do is take a look at the previews, see the type of things that I can do with this application. <clears throat> you can make um, web applications. That's pretty cool. QR codes, uh, connect things with um, what are like shortcuts. You can do a lot of things with Python Lisa just off of there. So let's slide over to the next thing. Okay, complete. It's, it's really a really nice IDE for writing Python code. You can write GUI applications. That's kind of hard, like for real, for real. And dope as hell. Okay. <clears throat> and as you can see, you got a 4.6. And the reviews are pretty good. Let's see what this one person said. I'm a full-time developer, and I don't know what I would do without Pythonista. There you go, full-time developer. I already said it. And you can just see it's like a whole bunch of five-star reviews. Okay, they got a one-star review. Let's see what this says. Low rating is to get the developer's attention and send a red flag to others who might be, who might buy the app and be disappointed by the current state. Pythonista could potentially be the most useful, powerful app. This was two years ago, let's say that, for developers from the App Store. That's not an exaggeration. The potential increased dramatically when it considered could be done with shortcuts overall the app. Developers, AOL, hey, well, we have it. Okay, so it was two years ago, it was just saying it got a lot of potential, but ain't good at the state that it's at. Cool. So this is a good app to get. I ain't gonna lead y'all straight. Pay that damn ten dollars. If you don't have ten dollars uh, on a card, you know, like you don't have a debit card or something, they can teach you. You can go to like a Walmart or a Meijer or something. Take you like twenty dollars and get you a prepaid debit card and come back and put twenty dollars on it. Come back, buy, the, uh, hook the card up to Apple Music or Apple Store and buy this for nine ninety nine. Great use of twenty dollars and ten dollars right there, and you got an extra five dollars or something. If you want to add some extra apps that you always want to buy or something, look, you know I'm gonna get you right on this channel. So that's that's how you do it. Take twenty dollars. Everybody can go get you ten dollars. Work for literally you work for an hour. Minimum wage is fifteen dollars. You work for an hour. Go buy you one of them cards. Put the money on there. I'm teaching y'all how to code off the iPad, and you can do this on the iPhone. I'm recording on my iPhone so you can't see, but you can do this on the iPhone too. So y'all no longer need this laptop. I mean, we teach y'all how to code on laptops too, but most people say, Nate, I want to learn how to code, but I don't have a laptop. So now I'm teaching y'all iPhones, iPads, how to do it, and hacks on how to get this stuff. So now that you got it, <clears throat> this is Python Easter 3. Let's open it up. All right. And as you see, I already got a little message real quick, but let's just write some Python code. And the first thing that we write, you know, uh, hello world programs, but I like to write my what up though programs. So what up though, 
And let's run it. You run it by pressing this uh, little play button in the corner. See my cursor over it. And you'll see what up those printed out right there. <clears throat> so this is Python Mista, and this is how we're going to be developing our applications on this channel using the iPad. Really easy setup. Go to the App Store, pay the $10, download it, open it up. It's already ready to run. In this next video, we'll get into the Pythonista documentation, see what type of APIs already come pre-installed when, when you download it, that application, and then the other APIs that uh, we can install and different things like that. So be on the lookout for that next video. See y'all then. Deuces.